Hello everyone, this is Impulse and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 5. How you guys doing? I'm hanging in there guys, I'm hanging in there. My voice is a little rough. I ran into a little bit of a, a patch of being sick there for a few days where it mainly just affected my voice. I had a sore throat, my vocal cords were torn up a bit, uh, so I couldn't really record or stream or anything. So instead, I decided I would take the time to redo the redstone on my sorting system here. And I've completed it, and it took a long time, and it's very complicated. <laughs> I based this design off of a world download that I got from Cybot, uh, what is it, Cybot 24 something or other, 2419. Uh, so he, he was designing some storage for Izuma and I found this one and it works great for my layout here. Now a lot of you probably, probably are thinking, why didn't you just go with Tango's design? Well the deal with Tango's design is he actually had a separator in between each module so there was this one block of separation and I couldn't make his work with my layout because I don't actually have an extra block here um, I wasn't able to do that and instead I went with this design it's really cool it's all kind of self-sustained you can actually put these all right next to each other uh, without the pillars in between but I decided not to do that because then I would have to put the item frames on the chest and it gets hard to get into the chest when you're kind of dodging around an item frame so I like to have the item frames next to the chest so you can easily see uh, but I did bring it down a level just to make things easier I mean I was having a hard time reaching that top chest when there was one even higher I'd have to jump and I didn't want to have to do the half slab thing so I brought it down to six and then I added two more columns of chests to make up for that. And the way I'm using this middle now, is you can see I'm separating colored blocks. So wool, we kind of start the color spectrum over here and end it over here is the plan. I don't have a lot of wool to, to demonstrate that, but like glass, you can see we go from clear and then we kind of go through and we'll have it kind of get down to, you know, kind of a, almost a rainbow spectrum, I don't know. But they're kind of on either side. So the middle deal works because it's, it's kind of telling you both sides of this are the colors and then I have glass panes and, and carpets so the kind of the breakdown of the colored blocks as well and so that worked out perfect there in the middle I still have a lot of empty spots open and I want to keep it that way because I haven't obtained all the blocks in the game just yet so I want to make sure that I have room for more and then you know if, if anything comes up where you know I just haven't allocated enough space for different drops then I can kind of switch things around and take up you know a new chest or whatever so that's going on I got a full stack of the stuff that makes its way all the way through the system without getting put anywhere which of course as you would expect are gonna be non stackable items so I need to kind of figure out what I want to do with this if I want to reserve a chest in here that's just going to be you know strictly for gear you know maybe this top one here above the diamonds would be good I'll just fill it up with non stackable gear and then clog the rest with cobblestone like I've been doing I don't know I don't know but I am I'm happy this thing finally works it's not flashing redstone all the time it uses a lot of observers uh, which I believe reduces some lag uh, doesn't have the same kind of lighting updates as the repeaters do and I've heard and maybe you guys can set me straight that if I was to do something like this and what I'm talking about is anytime redstone flashes torches repeaters redstone dust it causes lighting updates around it to happen and that causes lag now I've heard a little rumor that if I was to do something like this and put blocks that have full light that would help um, so I'm gonna let you guys know that, that may know the true story behind that if I was to go around and do something like that and put a whole bunch of lighting blocks everywhere would that also help now just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about let's see do I have let me just throw these lanterns back in the system and you can kind of see what I mean by lag so 175 76 frames uh, I'm getting uh, on the client anyway I have no idea what the server is getting so we're talking about two different types of lag here we're talking about client lag and server lag I'm not sure server lag what this does with the lighting updates but client side I definitely feel it so if I pop these sea lanterns into this chest here and we right now it's locked so they're not going anywhere I turn this thing on you're gonna start seeing flashing and this is why I didn't want this thing to be constantly flashing which is why I changed to this design we've also got the indicator lamps flashing and you can just kind of feel it as I move around a little bit more hitchiness happening and you can see my frames have 
basically cut in about half. So at least client side, I'm definitely being impacted by all these lighting updates <laughs> and Ren Dog fell from a high place. Uh, we have to do the customary rip message there to uh, make fun of them. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, this could potentially be improved with putting some lights around it or covering it up. One of the two, I don't know. I'll let you guys let me know. I've I've looked into it a little bit, but I couldn't find a definitive answer. So maybe maybe one of you guys know and you could tell me in the comments. But anyway, I do like this design. Like I said, you can basically put these right next to each other. They're all kind of self-contained slices. They have their own built-in item elevators, which are all silent, uh, which is really cool. They're just off to the back here. So as an item comes in here, uh, it, it goes through the silent design here, which keeps these dropper silent so this torch tower the way it has the alternating torches and then what's also cool is the way that it clocks itself so you have observer blocks pointing down and then as it reaches uh, as the signal reaches this block here the repeater goes off it's on three ticks right there you can hardly see it uh, and that sets the observer signal back down and kind of creates the clock until this thing is fully emptied which is really cool I thought that was awesome uh, so anyway, pretty cool design, and uh, thank you, Cybot. I have no idea how to credit Cybot properly. I couldn't find a YouTube channel or anything. It was just a world download that had a whole bunch of his sorting systems. So thank you, uh, however you get a hold of Cybot. I'm not sure, but I do want to thank him for having that world download out there that I was able to get my hands on and update my storage system. So now that storage is out of the way and we've got all of our items sorted and put away for the most part, we do have a little bit of a mess out here. There's some things I need to figure out what I'm going to do with. Uh, what are we going to do today? What are we going to do today? Well, okay, I should mention I, I moved my portal down. I had it here and I hated the way it just kind of got in the way and blocked my view. Uh, so yeah, eventually we're going to need to put a nice casing around this and things like that. But I did move the portal down here. It's out of the way. It's going to be less noisy. Although my, uh, my, what is it? The vanilla, what is it called? The resource pack I use. We talked about it before. Vanilla tweaks, better textures, vanilla tweaks. Yeah. So this is my texture pack I've been using. And I put links a couple videos ago in the description, how you can go create your own custom vanilla tweaks texture pack. And then I have my, uh, custom, as well on top of Faithful, which just basically changes the sky. I kind of like having the, the different sky there. But anyway, uh, the Vanilla Tweaks turns down the portals a little bit, so I'm standing right next to it and it's still not too bad. But you can see down here I have a little building platform and this is where all the redstone went for <laughs> this system, which is craziness. And we still are working on getting this done. So I think today I have a live stream coming up. I'm gonna go ahead and work on this a little bit more. Uh, we need to get this circle brought out and we need to curve it up and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this without it looking like a flying saucer because I kind of want it to come out at an angle and then cut back in at the floor level which I guess in this case would be that one right there so I mean we're talking quite a few blocks up I need to kind of curve out and then in so hopefully it doesn't look like a flying saucer I'm sure everybody is going to tell me by the time it's done that it does and oh well <laughs> oh well i don't i don't see much i can do to avoid this uh, i i am going to cut kind of bring this out and all the way across and then leave a little bit of definition here with the floor actually being above this thing so i don't know if that makes sense but hopefully it will when i get it done and come back and show you guys and that would be right now so i got it done live streams over and worked on this a little bit got these all the way out and started filling in the bottom here so basically what this is is it's the ceiling, if you would, from when you're down there kind of looking up, you would see this. Uh, now, this is just going to be not really used, I don't think. I mean, maybe like a maintenance area underneath anything I need to build on the city there. But you're not really going to see this from above. It's going to be all from below. Also got some detail here with some sea lanterns. So have these kind of bars going across that way and then a little design in the middle there which i'll give you a better look at once we get out there and it looks like we have a visitor <laughs> flying by a wild zf appears <laughs> and so i started kind of building up this ring these blocks here don't worry about these guys these were just temporary placeholders this is what i'm using as my garbage blocks these days uh, so i started building up a sea lantern ring around here to give it some more lighting i'm trying to use as much lighting as possible now, because I went with the dark prismarine, you know, I want to get everything else kind of around it to be as light as possible. But one thing about this dark prismarine is it's kind of expensive still to me. It took a lot of 
squid, a lot of ink to, to make these. I think I went through about 12 stacks of ink. And because I gave most of it away to the Netherhub project, I'm running really low on ink now. And it's very difficult for me to get ink from my, from my ink farm because usually people are online, for instance, right now. So if I went there, I'm not going to get any squid spawning and I won't be able to collect any ink. So I have to kind of wait till my night time in real life. Uh, and that's usually when there's less people on the server. So I have to wait till then to collect some more. So we're going to need to do that because, yeah, I'm going to need, what, 36 more stacks or so of ink to finish this guy up? Now, of course, the, the shards are easy for me to get because I got a full collection of those. Uh, and it's a lot easier now to craft thanks to this awesome thing, this recipe book. I love this thing. Uh, so <laughs> I'm able to craft all the prismarine stuff. It's a lot easier. Now, let's go down and kind of get a view from below. So I can show you, since this is the ceiling, uh, typically, like I said, the only way you're going to see it is if you're kind of down here and below this guy. So there you go. You get a good idea. You can see I kind of sketched out how I wanted to do those rails with the circle on that quadrant there. And then I actually did it with the sea lanterns here. And I think against the dark prismarine, the sea lantern blocks look pretty cool. Uh, and then you can see what I meant about carrying that whole thing out. I think I need to do... I think I need to do the end cap as well there. Have this bar kind of go all the way to the end. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm kind of looking at it. Can't make up my mind there. Let me know what you guys think. If you know what I'm talking about, this cyan that goes all the way out, uh, should it go all the way out and then up the ledge as it curves up? Yeah, I kind of feel like it should. I kind of feel like it should. Maybe that would break up the uh, <laughs> the spaceship look that I, I'm worried about. So anyway, yeah, let's fly. Let's get a little bit closer. Give you guys a good idea. Am I flying? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. I'm happy with it. And look at that. Nice flight to the top. No kinetic energy experienced. And we're good to go. So yeah, I guess next up, I'm going to start kind of doing the whole curve. I need to figure out what materials I want to use. Uh, start curving this up. Maybe in the meantime, I'll be able to collect some ink over the next day or so. Typically, these videos do take me a few days to make. Uh, especially since I'm recovering from sickness here. I gotta take kind of slow as I get through this much of a clip. I'm starting to feel it in my throat, like my voice wants to give out a little bit. I probably still sound a little bit funny and congested and stuff. But anyway, yeah, let me get a little more building done and hopefully recover a little bit and maybe gather some ink as well. And I'll be back in a second. <laughs> That was a lot of blocks to place, but I think it turned out looking absolutely amazing. What do you guys think? The view from underneath is really, really cool. And yeah, yeah, I'm very happy with it. Very happy with it. Uh, I'm just down here now looking up thinking, yeah, I don't know that an entire city could be held up with glass. <laughs> so I kind of feel like this place needs some sort of support columns from inside this deal here. So I started thinking, well, what if we just did, you know, one in each corner going straight up and, and going up that way. Uh, but I don't think that really would have looked too good. I was hoping to do something with a little more shape. 
because so far this thing's got a lot of shape to it and I want to keep going down that path. So I started laying out some blocks here. I got a good idea and I'm going to start putting it in here, but I'm a little nervous, guys. I'm a little nervous to be honest because I'm not sure I could pull this off. And yeah, I did have to remove the redstone and the buttons and stuff from on top of the uh, guardian farm. And yeah, it means I'm not going to be able to turn on and off the guardian farm anymore, but I'm not that worried about it because honestly, guys, I have only turned it on and off like once <laughs> this entire time. So uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a problem. And, and the only reason I was, I even had to turn it off was because I was working on something uh, with the storage piece and I'm all done with that kind of stuff. So I don't really see a need to turn this thing on and off anymore anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take those buttons out so I can place this support pillar uh, all the way up. And so here's kind of what I'm thinking about doing here. I'm going to make a support column out of, oops, <laughs> I wanted to keep that one because uh, we're going to do two actual pillars. And like I said, I'm a little bit nervous about this to see if I can pull this off. But the idea is I'm going to have two rings basically going up and the inside ring is going to be sea lanterns and then the outside ring is going to be cyan concrete and they're going to go straight up but then i'm going to kind of carve out a spiral pattern as it goes up out of both of these so you'll be able to kind of look through one and see the other one within it and they both have spirals we'll see we'll see if i can pull it off though i can't figure out exactly the best way to do this so what i'm going to do is actually just build up the entire column uh, as this full circle and then I'm gonna come back and carve out the actual spiral piece so we'll see if that works uh, I'm gonna get placing these blocks and then we'll start cutting into it and see but uh, yeah I guess I'll build this thing all the way up and we'll be right back there we go the support column is completely in and done and wow that was a lot of concrete but we got it now and actually some of this concrete I'm gonna get back because the next step is to kind of carve this into a spiral pattern and we're going to do kind of like a like a double helix here too because you can see not only do we have one but we have two support columns i have the inside column going all the way up in sea lanterns and we're going to carve that away and we're going to kind of do this like staircase up pattern in here i kind of need to figure out how much of this i'm carving away uh, because yeah that's going to determine kind of the size of the the strands that are going to be going around in the spiral pattern so i think what i'll do here is maybe make it four wide so what would we do here we would say uh, maybe cut this right here and then up a bit so so this would start to go up as well and you can see we're going to start to have this kind of band formed in fact maybe we want to start here even and there we go that looks a little better okay so yeah i'm going to have probably some trial and error here but you can see what we're going for we're going to have this this kind of stepping up helix style going up and spiraling around this whole thing and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the same thing with the sea lanterns and they'll have it, their own kind of spiral, which will go up at a different rate because it's a little bit smaller of a circle, obviously, because it's inside the other one. And I think it's going to end up looking really cool. But first, I need to figure out exactly how this is going to work. So, all right, let me uh, let me get carving and we'll see how it turns out. Look at how amazing this looks at night. How awesome. I love all the little lighting effects that are going on underneath the platform there. And then we have still the solid pillar going up the middle. And I've carved out the spiral of the outer ring there and I've got some mobs <laughs> that want to join me and uh, apparently they don't care to take a look they just want to eat my face but anyway yeah next up I'm gonna do the inside pillar as well hello hello come on just trying to enjoy the view here <laughs> we're gonna do the inside one as well get that double helix look going on and I think it's gonna look amazing so all right uh, I might need to repair my pickaxes a little bit before I do that so yeah <laughs> I'll go do that and I'll carve out the middle and there we go, we are done. Finally, that was a lot of work, but I think it looks amazing. It turned out absolutely fantastic. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Oh, you know what, before you do, before you tell me what you think, let's take a, a better, let's try to get a better view of this thing. Uh, let's see, how can I get up there? Uh, nope, falling, okay. <laughs> let's see can we get out of this place let me see if I can get out we'll try to do a little flyby view <laughs> I 
guess I could have gone down and then up or something. But uh, oh, don't die, don't die. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, let's get out of here. I uh, better heal up before we go. I'm gonna go out. Yeah, let's go out. Actually, I think I can just do this here. If I don't spirit kinetic energy, there we go. Phew. All right, let's fly out here and big reveal. Boom. Yes, look at that. That is so awesome. You can kind of see through little spots here where you get through the two. And I don't want to run into the thing. Oh, perfect. And the sun is starting to go down. So we can get a uh, an outside view. Let's see. Is this a good place? To yeah, I think so. Let's go down here so we can take a look from this island. But, oh, look at this thing. This is starting to look massive. We finally have a nice big platform for Atlantis to be built on top of. We have a column that could actually support a city. Uh, the next thing I need to do, and I mentioned it earlier, is to kind of curve up the outside here up to the height of the floor and then bring that over so we still have a lot more to go with that. But yeah, as it gets dark here, let's take a look and see just how good this thing looks at night. I mean, there's a lot of lighting stuff going on, which is really cool. The inside of that, uh, the spiral there is all sea lanterns, so that helps bring some light, so you can see that kind of spiral up even in the darkness. We have all the little lighting touches along these little columns here, and then underneath this platform, it's pretty cool how it looks with the, uh, the little decorations as well. So guys, what do you think? What do you think now that you've seen it in its entirety? What do you think? Do you guys like it? Let me know. Uh, so let's go up here. Oop, I think I touched the water for just one second. Another look here at nighttime. Oh, so happy. So happy with how this turned out. Okay, let's get up here. And uh, the next thing, like I said, is to start building this up. I started trying to figure out how I wanted to do this, uh, but I need to pick out the materials and stuff still. You know, I'll probably do, like I have here, some of the, the um, cyan clay. And then I was thinking about going, adding a little bit of brick into it, since that's also in a color palette, to kind of go up. So we got to go kind of up all the way to there. <laughs> so we have a lot of layers to do here, a lot of, lot more circles to do, and they're really big circles, so they take some time. And I think I better light this place up a little better than this. There we go. <laughs> See if we can finish him off here. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> so yeah, better light this place up. But yeah, we need to do that. We need to carry out so you can get an idea of, look at how much flooring we're going to have to build Atlantis on when we're done. And we need to build something around that as well to cover up all that redstone. But yeah, coming along, coming along. But guys, that's going to be it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you go. Let's see if I can get a, a, a tops view of the spiral. <laughs> there we go. And with that said, I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.